this is Movie Tone. Lionel Gamlin reporting. There seem to be various ways of limbering up for the 50 kilometres road walk. This event was contested in extremely hot weather and the big field which set off round Wembley Stadium would soon be a way out on the long route through Stanmore, Edgware, Radlett, Aldenham and back. Not even Olympic walkers can cover 31 miles 120 yards in less than four and a half hours, so we propose to leave them walking while we have a look at some other contests. For example, Miss Baum of Austria wins the javelin throwing and beats the Olympic record with a throw of 149 feet 6. Now back to the walkers. Here are Whitlock, 388, and Martineau, both of Great Britain. Whitlock seems anxious about his appointment at the winning post. Even Olympic walkers, by the way, are allowed refreshments of a sort. Meanwhile, in the stadium, the long jump was won by Steel of America with a leap of 25 feet 8 inches. No record there. Well, now we really must finish off this walking race. Here comes the winner, Lundgren of Sweden, 398. He hasn't won yet, but he's coming along in great style, heel and toe and well out in front. Burst of applause greets him in the stadium, which he has to circle before the finish. His time was 4 hours, 41 minutes, 52 seconds, a trifle slower than Harold Whitlock's at the last Olympic Games. And here's the next man in, Godel of Switzerland, delighted to be back at Wembley again. He thinks he's finished before he really has. Johnson, Great Britain, was third. What a relief it is to be able to run at last. You must get a good start if you're to win the 100 metres, so competitors make sure everything's OK before lining up. As a matter of fact, there was a false start in this important final. Then, they're off. It was a very close thing between the Americans Dillard, extreme left, and Ewell, one from the right, with Lower Beach of Panama and Britain's McCorkadale within a yard of them. Indeed, it was so close that Barney Ewell evidently thought he'd done it. But he had a big disappointment coming, for the real winner was Dillard. Here's photographic proof. Dillard dressed the tape on this side. Ewell on the other side is not quite there. The winner's time equaled the record. In such weather, the swimmers had the best of it. This is the men's 100-metre freestyle final. Among the spectators at the swimming pool were the Shah of Iran and Prince Bernard of the Netherlands. It was a thrilling race. Here's a special view of the turn, something you couldn't have seen so well on the spot. The race was so close, it was hard to pick out the winner. Alex Yanni, the French ace, was out of form and unplaced. Victory went to Walter Rees, the American, who set a new Olympic record of 57.3 seconds. The women's springboard diving is always a pleasure to watch. This is Miss Olsen, USA, who won second place. The winner was her compatriot, Mrs. Draves. Somehow it always looks easier in slow motion. Here's the real speed at which dives were executed by competitors, and no doubt you'd like to have a look underwater. When competitors started out on the 800 metres final in the stadium, the Olympic record stood at 1 minute 49.8. But record breaking is going strong this Olympiad, and a new time was made in this event. A sizzling pace was set and maintained, 
and presently Whitfield of the United States took the lead. Then Wint, the tall Jamaican, began coming up fast with huge strides. But either he judged it wrongly or he hadn't the finishing power. Anyway, he couldn't overhaul Whitfield, who won in 49.2, Wint also breaking the old record. Pole vault is another fascinating contest, the jumpers reaching incredible heights. Victory went to Smith, America, who cleared 14 feet, one and a quarter inches. Now the women's 100 meters. No record here, but a fine race, with Britain's Dorothy Manley, far side, coming in only a split second behind the winner, Mrs. Blankerskern of Holland. Miss Manley, who is the first British girl ever to win a place in this Olympic event, is a 21-year-old shorthand typist from Essex. But suddenly it seemed that the English summer was over. Anyhow, it fairly poured with rain, and that made things awkward for a bit. The 5,000 metres final, too, had to be run in very bad conditions. This race developed into a great duel between Rafe of Belgium, 175, and Zatopek of Czechoslovakia, 203, who had previously won the 10,000 metres in tremendous style. The track looked in pretty bad shape, but it seems that Olympic runners care nothing for heat or mud. They just press on regardless in search of records. Rafe the Belgian has now gone to the front, and that's something at this stage of the race that you wouldn't expect Zatopek to allow. The Czech, however, was biding his time, and in the end he bided too long. But when Zatopek did start his sprint, excitement was terrific. Zadebeck couldn't catch up, and Rafe ran home the winner, both men beating the Olympic mark. For Rafe, there was quite a reception committee. 